are reading the little book of Bible stories. Know your fingers? The book was written by Jean Fisher. Alright, let's open it up. Hold it up. The beginning, Genesis 1 and 2. In the beginning, there was nothing but God. Then God started making things. He made the earth round like a ball. With seas deep and blue, he planted trees and flowers. He lit up the earth with sunshine and hung the moon with twinkling stars in the sky. Then God made animals, fishes that swim, birds that fly, wiggly jiggly puppies, soft kittens, giraffes with tall stretchy necks, all kinds of animals. And then God made people, a man and a woman. God looked at everything and said, this is good. Thank you God for earth and sky, for pets and bugs and birds that fly. In the beginning, God created the sky and the earth. Genesis 1, 1. Mom, this is, um, what? At my dad's, um... Church? Yeah. It's in a kid, um, church. We did this. All right, that's good. All right. God's big flood. Genesis 6 and 8. Emma, are you listening? Noah, God said, I want you to build a big boat. So Noah obeyed. He built a huge boat. Noah, his family, and the animals, two of every kind, went inside. Splish, splash, raindrops fell. Pitter, patter, pitter, patter, faster. Whoosh, down came the rain and the water went up. It rained for 40 days. Then, after many, many days on the boat, went down the flood, oh, down went the flood, and the sun came out. Thank you, God, Noah said, for keeping us safe and sound. God help me. Hear your words today. So your commands I can obey. Noah did everything that the Lord commanded him. Genesis 7, 5. So in the picture it shows that there's two of every animal. Because God told him to put two of every animal to keep them alive. Alright, next page. Abraham and Sarah. Genesis 15. Abraham and Sarah had no children. And when they were very old, God said, I have wonderful plans. <coughs> you will have many children like the stars. Too many to count. God kept his promise. Abraham and Sarah had a son. Then grandchildren. Then great-grandchildren. One, ten, hundreds. More than they could count. Many years later, a baby boy was born into Abraham's family. A special boy named Jesus. Dear God, what are your plans for me? I wonder. I wonder, I can't wait to see. Abraham felt sure that God was able to do the thing that God promised. Romans 4.21 okay. Baby in a basket. Exodus 1.2 The Israelites became slaves to the king of Egypt. At the same time, God's family grew big and strong that worried the main king. Let's take away their baby boys, he said. One mother hid her baby boy in a basket and placed the basket in a river. The king's daughter found the baby. She named him Moses, and he grew up to be the, the king. Oh, he grew up in the king's palace, kept him safe. He had big plans for Moses. Father God, please watch over me. Keep me as safe as I can be. The Lord will keep you safe. Proverbs 3.26 The Red Sea Genesis 3. Moses was all grown up now. God said, Moses, it's time for you to be king, to let my people go, to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. Moses was afraid at first, but he obeyed God, and soon Moses and the Israelites came to the big Red Sea. The king's army chased after them, and the Israelites felt trapped. God, help us, said Moses. Then God opened up the sea so all his people could walk on dry land to the other side. I trust my God with everything because he can do anything. The things impossible for man are possible for God. Luke 18, 27. And in the picture it shows where God's splitting the sea so Moses and all of his people can walk through. Alright, next. David and Goliath. 1 Samuel 17. The Israelites were afraid of a giant named Goliath who was trying to fight them, but a boy named David wasn't scared. I'm a good pencil. Okay, so, uh, 
But a boy named David wasn't scared of Goliath. He trusted God to help him. David marched up to Goliath and said, You think you're tough, but I have God on my side. David took out his slingshot. He aimed it at the giant. Boink! A stone hit Goliath. Boom! He fell to the ground. It may, I may, I might be young, but I am strong. My God is with me all day long. Don't be afraid. I will help you. Isaiah 41, 13. Daniel, Daniel in the lion's den. Daniel 6, a king, made a law. The people will bow down and pray to me only. Daniel didn't follow the king's rule. He knew he should pray to God only. Then the king punished Daniel. He had Daniel thrown into a den of hungry lions. But Daniel trusted God to protect him, and God did. The lions didn't hurt Daniel. God kept Daniel safe. Down on my knees, I pray to you. You're the only God. It's true. God is the only Lord, and there is no other God besides him. Mark 12, 32. Put the book up more. You will sit back. Jonah and the big fish. God told Jonah, go to Nevaeh. Nevaeh? Tell the people about me. But instead, Jonah ran from God and sailed away on a ship. A storm came. Waves tossed the boat. The Jonah went over hey. overboard. Splash! Go! He felt himself sliding down, down into the slippery stomach of a big fish. Jonah prayed to God and asked him for help and forgiveness. Then God forgave him, Jonah. He made the fish swim to the beach. Can you open it more? They swam to the beach. Psst. It spit Jonah out and to the shore. Then Jonah obeyed God. He went to Nevaeh and told the people about God. Forgiveness makes a happy heart. Help me obey right from the start. If we confess our sins, he will forgive our sins. 1 John 1.19 Jesus was born. Matthew 2, Luke 2. All right. One starry night, the sky opened up, and angels appeared to shepherds in the field. Don't be afraid, one angel said. We have good news. The special baby everyone has waited for was just born. That special baby was Jesus, God's son. The shepherds hurried to see Jesus. God hung a big, bright star in the sky so that wise man Wise men, so that wise men could follow it and bring him gifts. Jesus had arrived, and the word was about to change forever. He would grow up and save the world. Joy to the world, our Lord has come. God's great plan has just begun. Today your Savior was born in David's town. He is Christ the Lord. Luke, 11, Luke 2, 11. The Lost Sheep. Jesus told a story about a shepherd and his 100 sheep. One sheep got lost. The shepherd left the others to look for it. When he found it, the shepherd was so happy. Just Jesus explained, God is like the shepherd. If, if one of his children gets lost, God will look for him or her. God loves his children. He wants all of them to live with him in heaven someday. If I'm lost and no one's around, I trust God that I will be found. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. John 10:14. Jesus calms the sea. Jesus and his friends were in a boat in the sea. While Jesus slept, a big storm came. The wind roar, roar, roared. <laughs> Waves rocked the boat. The friends thought the boat would sink. Wake up, Jesus, they cried, save us. Jesus got up. You must have faith, he said. Then Jesus told the wind. Je then Jesus told the wind and the rain to stop, and they did. Jesus can do anything. Even terrible storms obey him. Jesus has power. Jesus is strong. He is there to help me when things go wrong. Even the wind and the sea obey him. Matthew 8, 27. Jesus loves children. Wherever Jesus went, great crowds came to hear him. Parents bought their children. Oh, parents brought their children to see Jesus, but Jesus' helpers said, Don't bother him, he's busy. Jesus heard them. Let the little children come to me. He said, Jesus took the children in his arms. He welcomed them and blessed them. Jesus loves children. He always has time for them and never turns them away. My Lord is always pleased to see little children just like me. Let the little children come to me. Luke 18, 16. 
a miracle. Matthew 14, Mark 6, Luke 9, John 6. One day, more than 5,000 people came to hear Jesus speak. When it was time to eat, the people became hungry, but there was not enough food to feed them all. A little boy offered Jesus his lunch, five small loaves of bread and two fish. Jesus prayed to his father, then he turned to the then he turned the boy's lunch into food, enough food for everyone with leftovers. This was just one of the mir many miracles Jesus did. Jesus, you are all I need. The things you are, the things you do are great indeed. You will have everything you need. James 1 4. Jesus saves the world. Some people did not believe Jesus was God's son. They hated him so much that they hung him on a cross to die. Jesus did a wonderful thing by letting himself be punished on the cross for everyone's sin. When Jesus died, the world changed forever. Jesus death was a part of God's special plan, and if people believed in Jesus and that they were sorry for their sins and trusted in him, someday they would live with God in heaven. I bow my head, get on my knees, and say to God, forgive me please. This is how we know, this is how we know what real love is. Jesus gave his life for us. 1 John 3, 16. Jesus lives. Three days after Jesus died, Mary and some other friends went to visit his tomb, but the tomb was empty. Jesus was not there, and angels outside the tomb said, Jesus is alive. Hurry, go tell his friends. Mary and the others ran to tell the good news. Many of Jesus' friends saw him. He taught them. He did more miracles, and everyone felt happy because they thought they had thought Jesus was dead, but he was alive. Jesus lives. He's here every, forever. We will always be together. I am alive forever and ever. Revelations 1.18 Tell the good news. Jesus was ready to go back to heaven. He said to his friends, Tell the whole world about me. Then Father God lifted Jesus up, up into the sky. His friends saw Jesus disappear into the clouds. Two angels stood near them. Someday Jesus will come back. They promised. Jesus Jesus' friends told many people about him, and those people told more people, and on and on. You can tell people about Jesus, too. Jesus, this is what I'll do. I'll tell my friends that, that, I know, that I know you. Go everywhere in the world. Tell the good news to everyone. Tell everyone that, that Jesus is always here with you, and he loves you.